Hey everybody. So welcome to another episode of About These Comments. So I did a video about Jeff Bezos and I titled it on the Simply Set channel, Dear Single Mothers, Jeff Bezos' dad walked away too. Okay. And I wanted to just show you single mothers get a lot of flag, but they're the ones who are left holding the bag. Okay. And all the responsibility is put up on this. So I want to kind of scroll down and I want to kind of highlight some of these um, comments and discuss them. Here's one from Mystic Moon that says, Shinny Sha Sha Shaquille O'Neal has the same story. Father left his mother, married another man for Sha Shaquille. His stepfather is his true father. Wonderful story. So we saw how that turns out. Now, in some cases, the women don't get married, remarried again. Sometimes they are raising the children by themselves, and it is no surprise, just like Shaq's dad did when he tried to, when he appeared on the Corona Fairlight. Oh my God, Poppy, what, 15 years ago? I want you to, I don't want anything. Uh, you know, uh, I want you to meet your, uh, what, your stepbrother? And it was a little boy that he put on his lattice. I want you guys to meet. So I beg to differ. In my opinion, yeah, you probably wanted something, okay? Knowing he became a success. So looking at, what is this? Bio, my gosh, today. Beautiful music spelled B, okay, beautiful music. So beautiful music put a comment here that says men are selfish generally for several reasons. When it comes to their kids, seems their preoccupation and primary concern is their so-called legacy and how children will benefit them later in their lives. Not the child's well-being for the child's sake. The entitlement. That I have to agree with. I've honestly seen this with a friend of mine. I may have mentioned this before in a prior video where the, the mother passed on and she did leave some life insurance there in a small town. And at the time, my friend ended up leaving her corporate job and going back to school, to the university to continue her education. The father shows up at the funeral because, you know, in a small town, people talk, oh, yeah, she had life insurance, you know, yada, yada, yada. He shows up at the funeral. And when they were having like, uh, I want to say reception, but the part after that, after the, after the burial, they go to the house and have dinner and what have you, he came up to him and he'd heard about the life insurance and said, oh yeah, I remember y'all, when y'all were like four years old, I met y'all mama at the, uh, at the store. And keep in mind, they were like, I think uh, my friend was like 38 and the sister was older, so late 30s. And he was like, last time I saw y'all, I met her outside the store and I gave her $40 to buy y'all some food. Really? $40? That's the last time you saw your kids. And she remembered it. Remembered it. Didn't see him after that. I think she told me she may have seen him twice in her life, best I can recall. So, in a small town, he's still there. Word is out she's passed on, and I'm sure he's heard about the life insurance. Now he shows up. After the funeral, he hit them up for some money and let them know, hey, you know, I heard your mom had some life insurance, and he wants to know that can maybe kind of help him out financially. This right here is a good example. When it comes to their kids, they seem preoccupied primarily. The main concern is a so-called legacy, how the children will benefit them later in their lives. So here is a dusty, a senior dust bucket who shows up and asks for some money. And it made me wonder. It was so shocking and disappointing. So what if the word wasn't out that your mom had the life insurance? Would he have shown up? Would he have shown up? Chances are maybe not, but that's how they see it. I've even heard uh, a guy friend I knew long time ago say oh yeah it's up to the mom to raise a kid you know and then when they're about 15 they can go with the dad if they're like separated and i'm saying to myself you gotta be kidding me so what are you doing all that time 15 when the child is 15 where, where are you when are three five eight seven eleven where, where are you i only want to come around when it's going to benefit them this lady here says Marie Lovely, I'm sure it felt like a good deal at the time. He could make a clean break. No monetary obligations, which is probably the primary motivation where you get what you give. And that that's exactly it. 
probably glad and relieved that that woman remarried. Therefore, someone else can assume the financial obligation of raising his son. And look what happened. You don't know what these kids can become. But I tell you, if you've got a man that's toxic, I'd rather be a baby mama all day and raising my children or my child in serenity, peace, and safety. I really would. I would rather that any day than to have a dust in the home causing a whole bunch of problems where the child can't learn, the child's mind can't develop, having to deal with this nonsense. Uh, this one here, Anoko 2, goes without saying Obama's dad abandoned him, heard he ruled over the most powerful nation ever. Exactly. He became president. And his dad was not there for him. His dad went to Africa and had a whole other family. That's what I read. So this being a single parent, no, no, they want to try to put you down. Someone has to stay. If black women didn't stay and raise the kids, the race would go extinct. They would go, the race would go extinct, waiting for a lot of these men to show up. And it just is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, here we have Fomani 12. This is why I tried to interject into a conversation with another black woman that dustiness is not just a black man phenomenon. Exactly. That's why I did the video. Jeff Bezos dad. I consider him a dusty, an old dusty, a deceased one at that. And he didn't meet his son. Why would the man want to meet you now? Why? Would, you, would he want to meet you now before he passed on? Why? You weren't there, and that's a choice. We all make choices. She says, further, there are dusties in our races because I've met them. Exactly. I totally, totally, totally agree. This one here from Mocha Honda says, um, first in experience, I probably would have been much better without my father. In many days, I wished I had a different father. But my mother said she would, never, she would never keep us away no matter what, and that we could see for ourselves one day. But I think she used him as an image of what not to want in a man. And that is so very true. Sometimes these women keeping their children from the father, I don't care what you call it. Sometimes it's a safety mechanism. She knows him better than you. She knows him better than anyone else sir, out in the street. Honestly and truly. And getting all, or he want to see his kids. He might be a darn pedophile. This one here says, I'm so proud to be a divorced single mom. Is this going to bring you peace and safety? Yes. I just did a story today. You saw in Katie, Texas, in the apartment there, a video today. What happened on the phone with her mother and her husband, her husband shot and killed her, I believe, seven times. Then he shot at the 16-year-old and 20-year-old children, their children. Honestly and truly, sometimes it's best to walk away. At least you get a chance to live your life. Stick around. You might be going down. The same thing here, Mark Sparks said, it's the same way with Steve Jobs. The rest of his comment, now here I have an issue. He says, both were raised by men still. We're going to have to do a little correction on Mark Sparks. He says, I'm glad to see you in agreement with Kevin Samuels. No, I'm not in agreement with Kevin Samuels on Kitten Heels on anything. I am not in any agreement, so let's, I'm going to have to untwist it for you. I'm not in agreement with Kevin Samuels. He said, at least with this, a woman does need a man to raise a child. Well, guess what? Here's the issue. A lot of women have their men around to raise the children or maybe trying to force it upon them, being baby daddy or husband. And guess what? Some of those women are getting killed. So if he wasn't around, maybe some of them would still be alive. So there is no such thing. You know, uh, she needs a man to raise a child. What kind of man is it? It could be a dusty man. No one needs dust. They bring trauma and drama. If it's the right kind of man, a decent man, I, I agree. That's family-oriented, wanting to build. That is a provider. But if it's one that's going to be sitting on this thing because he's a man, he's just basically a male, one of those just sitting around, you know, uh, playing games all day when a mother works, what good is a man is that? If it's going to be one that's beating you, or that's going to put you in the obituary, what good is that kind of man? So if you can raise your child in safe and peace without a man, you need to go ahead and do that. Because there's too many women with men that are ending up dead. That's why I do the videos. You have to be careful. It's happening every day. Too many women. So this idea, and I think that sometimes too, sometimes some women want to say they have a man so they can avoid the so-called stigma that that's attached to being a single parent. But think about it. If that's your thinking process, and you want, you like, I don't want to be a baby mama. I've seen that. That does can be the death of you. Real talk. So this here, a woman does need a man to raise a child. A woman needs a decent man, not not a dust bucket. Needs a decent man and not a dust bucket to raise a child. And I think that's a really big issue. 
And like this lady says here, Afro atheist is now Afro anti anti atheist. Hmm. She says, we don't need losers. My uh, apologies for the mispronunciation, but guess what? I totally agree. You don't need a loser in your home. Whether his name is Peter, Ramirez, or Tyrone, you don't need a loser in your home. It's, you, you just don't. So that's one thing I think people need to really, really, and truly consider. And that was the point of this video. Uh, I did see, like I said, uh, a lot of the comments here. I can't get to all of them, but I really wanted to 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 kind of just kind of touch on that. This one here, James. Red Pill, he says, Jeff Bezos had a stepfather, big difference. A lot of black women are raising boys with no man in the home. I wonder whose fault that is. I'm just asking. I wonder whose fault that is. He says, further, a recipe for disaster. A woman can never raise a man. Well, look at all these football players, these uh, athletes. Uh, every time you look up, it may be a father every now and then, but in most cases, it's a mother. It's a mother. So that debunks that reality. And women, if that's what you're thinking, oh, I got to have him around. He may bring this function. You're doing yourself and your family, your kids a disservice. A lot of women have raised men. They have. Look at all these athletes. You look, I'm going to buy mama house, buy mama house. Where's the man at? Who raised him? So far, he's standing here, he, you know, alive and well. He's got a talent, making millions of dollars. Who raised him? His mother did. So that's one thing, too, about single motherhood. You, when it goes right, no one ever wants to give you props. Guess what, ladies? Today is a new day. Don't fall for the, for the psycho babble that they bring to you. A woman can never raise a man. Well, I'll just say this here. That all the women who don't have a man, drop your child off at your child, at, with the father. Let's see what's going to happen. Somebody going to be on that milk cart. Somebody going to be there. Somebody going to be at that fire station. You have to be, what, age two and under? They'll be trying to drop off a 12-year-old. So maybe what we need to say, a dusty man can't raise a man. Honestly and truly. But a woman can never raise a man. It's done every day. It is done every day. So I want to kind of go over this, some of the comments here um, in this particular video. But again, to the ladies, it has to be the right kind of man. Sometimes if a man is full of drama, dysfunction, and if he could lead to your death, you don't need them. Raise your children in peace, love, and respect. Thanks for watching. Look forward to your comments. Feel free, free to like, subscribe, share. I'm out.